Well, I finally reached day seven of my seven day quest with Windows 7, and I've learned a lot about the new operating system, and overall I'm impressed that they've made big improvements over Windows Vista, particularly in the performance of Windows 7. But in a nutshell, unless you're completely unhappy with your current operating system, there is really no need to change to Windows 7 when it comes out later this year. So I thought in today's final installment I would talk about a few things that Windows 7 has omitted and the big glaring one is the email. We've been used to Outlook Express since Windows 95 and it was included with every operating system up to Vista. Vista changed the name to Windows Mail but it basically was Outlook Express with a new coat of paint over it. But now Microsoft wants you to go to their Windows Live website and start using some of their pseudo cloud operating systems where part of these applications live on your system, part of them live on the web, and that includes mail, which is Hotmail basically, and I am not a Hotmail proponent. I think that Hotmail is, is pretty old and long on the tooth really. I think a lot of people have used it over the years because it was the first and probably the, the most widely used web mailing system but I've been a Gmail convert and I will not go back until some other company comes and shows me they can compete with Gmail. The other thing that they've taken away is a little bit of the functionality with photos and they want you to use the Windows Live photo application which apparently does have some features that are okay but again I'm perfectly happy with Picasa. I think Picasa does a fantastic job of sharing photos, organizing your photos, printing your photos and even uploading photos to social networking type websites. So overall I think that Windows 7 again is not bad, certainly a lot better performance wise than Windows Vista. I would say if you're not unhappy with your current operating system there is no need to change. I would say however that if you are interested in buying a new computer or need to upgrade your computer within the next year I would hold off and get a Windows 7 machine when it is released later this summer at the very earliest or probably more likely closer to the holiday season this year. I think the other aspect of using Windows 7 this week demonstrated to me that the operating system has become less and less important because I can do almost anything I need to do with a Macintosh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Ubuntu Linux or any of the other Linux derivatives just as easily with, as with any other computer because more and more of the stuff we are doing is available on the web and unless you have Windows based computing requirements the Windows 7 is just something that is a minor upgrade overall to Vista fairly good upgrade from XP but certainly not necessary unless you absolutely need it